All right, what up, my tubers? It is the first day of Kamigawa here on Arena and MTGO. I just finished up an eight-hour stream, recorded another video, and it's time to record a second video. So long day. Kamigawa seems to be a pretty fun set so far, and, uh, well, I can't imagine a better card to open and first pick than the Kami War. Wu Bergen 1, exile target non-land permanent opponent controls, return up to one other target non-land permanent who in his owner's hand, then each opponent discards a card exiled, then flip it to Okagachi. 6-6 six, six flying trample, and whenever it attacks, player chooses a non-land card in your graveyard to that card. Yeah, anyways, it's huge, it's big, it's fat. Um, what are the real choices in this pack? Probably Dragon Spark Reactor. This card has been fantastic. Um, I've, I've only done like four or five drafts now, but this card has been an all-star. Uh, this card's been pretty good. Michiko's Reign of Truth. Uh, I'm probably going to time out on a lot of these picks, or at least I'm going to take a long time. But let's first pick the Kami War and try to have some fun. Alright, second pick. Probably going to end up taking this Circuit Mender, I would think. Just solid all-around artifact. 3 mana, 2, 3. Gain 2 life, and then it draws a card when you, uh, or you draw a card when it leaves the battlefield. Uh, the Kappa Tech Wrecker has been a very, very powerful one. It's a 2-mana 1-3 Death Touch. And then whenever it hits a opponent, you can remove the Death Touch counter and exile one of their artifacts or enchantments. So another really, really strong early aggressive play. Um, I'm not going to go over every single card. There's just no time to do that. I'm going to go over the cards that I know about. The, um, again, after, have, after having done five sword drafts or so. Um, if you missed it earlier today, I did upload one VOD. But uh, I've gone into these formats completely fresh, not knowing any of the cards, basically, uh, and learning as we go. But yeah, we're going to take this colorless one, Circuit Mender. It looks fantastic. Third pick, is there a removal spell here? Kind of, but they're not great. Um, we could take the Fall of Conda. That is an okay removal spell. Exile target creature and opponent controls with Mana Valley 4 greater. Then it does some other stuff. Basically, it turns into a 1-3 defender that draws you a card when it dies. Um, let's see. Fade into Antiquity. Very, very good. Uh, there are so many enchantments and artifacts in this format. This is always going to have a target. Um, so don't sleep on this type of card. Yeah, it's a sorcery, but it's a good ability. Debt to the Kami is eh, like bad removal, but removal nonetheless. Uh, Jukai Trainee is very good. This is a 2-2 with effectively Bushido. Um, I assume I'm going to want to be baseline green in this deck, so I might actually just take the good 2-2 here, the Jukai Trainee, over the fall of Lord Kanda, as uh, it's, it's a 2-mana 3-3 uh, often enough. Into a... Okay, we got past a Blossom a Prancer. This card's very good. It's 5 mana, 4-4 four, four reach. And as about if you look at the top 5, you may reveal a creature or enchantment from among them. Put them into your hand. Um, put the rest in the box. If you didn't put a card in your hand, so it, it, it's a 5 mana, 4-4 four, four reach that gains you 4 life if you want to. Or it can dig for a creature enchantment. Um, that's going to be my choice here over the Kami's Flare, which is just good 2 mana removal. I'll try to do a good job of hovering over so you guys can read them, but again, I'm not going to go over every individual card in the packs. Um, Modern Age, I think, is a decent uh, saga. There's also Ninja's Kunai. This card's been pretty good as well. One mana to play, one mana to equip, one mana to activate. Uh, three damage, any target, including players, so this one's been a good one. And then there are this uh, cycle of um, gain life lands, so we'll probably want to pick those up if we can, but... I think the Blossom Prancer is the easy choice there. It passed a Jukai Naturalist. Seismic Wave. This deals 2 damage to any target and 1 damage to each non-artifact creature. So it's like 3 damage to any non-artifact creature and then 1 damage to all other non-artifact creatures your opponent's control. So it's not a bad one. Um, yeah, I think we're going to end up taking the Seismic Wave here over the, the, the Naturalist. 2-2 lifelink is okay, but we want to pick up some removal slash interaction. So there's also this cycle of uh, shrines in the format. Each color has a shrine. They all do different things. The red ones are 2-2 first strike that pings players or planeswalkers. A lot of people were getting this wrong in my 
channel today. This only pings players or planeswalkers. You cannot shoot creatures. That'd be a little bit too good. Um, we also got past a Colossal Sky Turtle. I think this is what actually I'm going to take here. This is just a good value card. Um, seven mana, six, five flyer, ward two, but then it's got two channel abilities. And channel, basically, it's adding um, a different ability slash spell. And channel, you can do at instant speed, so... This is a pretty nice one. We also have a Sunblade Samurai. I'm not going to have enough time to go over it, but basically it's dis it's cycling uh, for a planes plus um, two life. Really solid seventh pick here as, uh, for us here as well. Sorry, again. Coming off of an eight plus hour stream, and this is the second rec video recorded today. So lots of content being pushed out. Uh, Kamigawa. But yeah, Vol Voltage Surge. One mana, two damage to a creature, and then you can sacrifice an artifact to instead deal four damage so again solid removal definitely the choice here for us um i think this undercity scrounger is pretty good three mana one four artifact creature if a creature died you can make a treasure short circuit would be okay as well but let's take that voltage surge into uh what does this one do it's the moth one Sacrifice this, draw a card if you control an artifact, draw a card if you control. That's not terrible. We can just take the Bloodfell Caves here if we want to for some fixing. Or we could take like the Mnemonic Sphere. Man, I had the craziest red-blue artifact deck today uh, on stream. Some of the some of the artifact cards are nuts. And because this is like day one of the format, uh, this is the day to expect to get like some really strange picks. Like I would not expect to get Vaulted Surge, you know, super late as the format progresses but it, it, yeah like wheeling the dragon spark reactor for example is crazy because this card has also been a super all-star now you do want the heavy artifact deck for this to work so maybe this is not the right deck for it but um in the previous red blue deck that i was talking about i had two of these i had two of the there's a, an automaton it's a two mana one one with ward two that whenever you cast an artifact it gets plus one plus one um I don't think we're going to take that here. I think for this five-color Kami War deck, we're going to take the Sunblade Samurai, but that that reactor is really solid, I think. Uh, Scoured Barons here versus Explosive Entry. Like I said, tons of artifacts and uh, enchantments in the format, so a removal spell like this, where it usually wouldn't be that good, it's actually decent because <clears throat> the number of artifacts in the set. Um... I think we might take the Entry over Scoured Barons. Barons question mark. I guess we'll just take the land here. The entry, I wouldn't run more than one of them anyways, so. And there are better replaceable effects to kill artifacts. Um, so not a huge pickup. As this pack is basically nothing for us. We'll just take this colorless card, though I don't think we're gonna run it. Sure, we'll take the Tranquil Cove now. So yeah. Not uh I think it's like one in three packs have one of these lands, people were saying, so. You're not going to see one every pack, but you can see a decent number of them as we just get some last few pickups that don't really matter. Like, so if I had taken that Dragon Scorch, whatever, that artifact, this is another super good one here. The Oni Cult Anvil. Um, yeah, just extreme value. Like, we went for fun here, but we could have had probably a really good artifact deck. What is this? Mech Titan Core. 2-4 Crew 2. 5 mana, exile it, and 4 other artifact creatures and or vehicles. Create Mech Titan, a legendary 10-10 with Flying Vigilance, Trample, Lifelink, Haste. When that token leaves the battlefield, return all cards. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Uh, I don't think we want that, though. Like, that's a fun card, and that would have been great if I had done the artifact deck theme. But we're just going to take the Flame Discharge here, I think. Solid red removal spell red and x and yeah passing like a leech gauntlet all of these reconfigured creatures have been really good um there's uncharted haven which is okay fixing in the format let's just take the flame discharge it looks like we're gonna try to be baseline red green and then we'll just be splashing some some craziness some fun stuff so we get a lethal exploit here removal spell i don't even remember what this does again thanks i'll tell you Turn to one other, another in front of his hand, then each one. Exile this saga, and then it comes into. Okay. Yeah, fun one. Um, March of Wretched Sorrow. 
Black X. So this is a cycle of March cards in the format. Deals X damage, target creature, or planeswalker, and you gain X life. Oh, that's fantastic. Great removal spell. Definitely going to pick that up here. Acquisition Octopus is a good reconfigure card. Uh, lethal Exploit I already mentioned, but yeah. Another good one. Windscarred Crag. Or, yeah, Windscarred Crag. Let's take that March. Shigeki Jukai Visionary. 1-3 for 2. Return it to its owner's hand. Reveal the top 4 cards of your library. You might put a land from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest in your graveyard. And then you can return X target non-legendary cards from your graveyard to your hand. Pretty solid. Oh, here's the what the black shrine. So this one, the red one pings players or planeswalkers. This one can kill creatures with uh, variable toughness. Um... We have a Kami's... Oh, we have a Kami's Flare here. That's probably the choice. More removal, more better. Seems good. So we're probably not going to have too many modified creatures in our deck uh, with what we're going with, but two mana, three damage. Not going to pass that up. Ooh, the... Uh, this is the uh, Fires of Yapamaya uh, clone. Sadly, I don't think we're going to be able to run that one. What do we have here? Intercessor's Arrest seems pretty good. There's another Fade into Antiquity, which we don't need to take. Yeah, let's go ahead and take the Arrest. Okay. Um, no fixing here, sadly. We do have another Jukai Naturalist, but that, again, it's just going to be a 2-2 lifelink in our deck. It's a Master's Rebuke, good punch card, 2 mana instant, but... Our deck has not many creatures right now. Uh, red, green, white baseline. I don't think we're running any of these. I guess I'll just still take the removal spell here and see if we can get some more creatures later on. Oh, there's the red shrine too. Oh, okay. Dang, this pack's really good. We have the red shrine, which we passed on already. If I had taken the black shrine now, I'd take another red shrine here. But I think the two choices for us are going to be the um, Terrarium, uh, the Ecologist Terrarium, or the Bamboo Grove Archer. Another really good defensive creature for our deck. This is fixing, though. But this is just going to be... I think we just want the solid 2-2... Two, two, or sorry, 2-mana, two 3-3 three, three reach. Like, it's just going to block everything early. It's good with the punch. Buy us time to get to the Kami War. What is this? Mere Shell Crab? That's a good one. Zeus's many journeys. That's not relevant. This return stuff from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, let's try taking the crab here. It's another good win con. Seven mana, five seven ward three. So kind of hard to kill. And then it's got a channel ability, which gives you some kind of counter magic. Red green white base, I guess. Splashing the other colors. Oh, there's another terrarium. Jeez, and another voltage surge in the pack. That's crazy. I still feel like I'd rather take another Volted Surge over the Terrarium. Just have infinite removal. But, yeah, I'm going to do it. Maybe we can get some late Terrariums later, because they would go really well with the Volt Surges as well. Right? Because the, the Terrariums in our deck, we're not using them for the Sacrifice ability. We're just using them to fix our mana. And so, um, then we have an Artifact to Sacrifice to Volted Surge. So... Didn't see too many dual lands here. We can take this Commune with Spirits, though. This is a good one. It's uh, early game fixing, or rather, finding a land for you, or it can find an enchantment. Let's do that. Nice, another Windscarred Crag. This one came back. I do think the Puzzle Maker could be a good blocker for us, too. Just a 1-4 flying creature is not bad, and you can get some extra value if uh, you can attack in and get some scry value, but red-white land here looks correct. Grafted growth. See, this adds two color of any one, or two mana of any one color, so it's not that great for fixing for the Kami War, but I guess it's going to be our choice here just for fixing in general. I'll take a fade into antiquity now. Bad removal, maybe another one. <laughs> Still another pack to go, so not concerned here as we get a soul transfer. Black, black one, sorcery. If you control an artifact and enchantment, you can, as you cast it, you may choose both. 
Exile target creature, Planeswalker, and return target creature or Planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand. Don't think we can take the double black card here, sadly. Black is just going to be a minor splash. Red, green, white baseline with a splash of blue, black. So we have a Rugged Highlands here versus like Tamiyo's Completion. There's another Jukai Trainee. Let's just go with the land here. The red green land's probably just too important to not take. High speed hover bike. 2 2 flying flash, crew one, and then it taps a creature when it enters. That's pretty funny. Trash bot, no. Oh, another Kami's Flare. Perfect. Yeah, our deck has so much removal. Two surges, two flares, a rebuke, which actually this might be our cut since we have so much better removal. Arrest, Wave, Fade into Antiquity, uh, Kami's Wars removal, March, and Flame Discharge. So now I guess I kind of just need some win cons. Like a Greater Tanuki. Oh, this is oh this is fantastic. Oh, I totally forgot about this card. Six mana, six five trample. Channel three is discard it and search for a basic land, put on the battlefield tap. So that's a nice include for us. It's a win con, but it also fixes for our bombs. Slash bomb. Um, the hell is this? Destroy target, destroy up to one target artifact enchantment or tapped creature. Then if you control an artifact and enchantment, create a 2-2. Two, two. Wow, that's just good removal, huh? But I think I might want to take another crab here or the cliffs. One, two, three, four, five. We're at 20 playables right now. Yeah, it's got to be crab or cliffs here. Let's take the yeah, let's take the the land, the cliffs. It's a safer play. Thornwood Falls, another good pickup for us. If there's not a better choice. And I don't think there is. Could take the Uncharted Haven now, but that would be our worst piece of fixing. We have good fixing now. So maybe I just want to take this like 5-4 trample haste as another top end win con. I'm at how many lands? Seven lands, so 20 cards. Creature count is eight. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the boar then. This deck is sweet. I might not do very well, but man, it's got uh, the Kami War, so. Jeez, another Voltage Surge? Holy moly. Yeah, we have, I mean, we have infinite removal. In fact, I need some... What I need are cards that draw more cards. That's what we need. We have a ton of one-for-one -one removal, but... I, I don't even think we're going to run three bolted surges. We need card advantage now. Like, maybe this is actually... Well... No. This is too awkward with our with our cards. We might not be able to cast some. Let's just take another trainee here. Yeah. It's a good 2-2 two, two for two again. Alright, we'll just load up on them. I don't think we need the completion. Since we have infinite removal as it stands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay... Um, what am I cutting here? Let's see, we have two... Well, we have... Nah, our lands are decent. Don't think we're playing any of these. Oh, wait. You may search your library for an aura or a shrine card. Wait, no. Sagas don't count as that. Never mind, that doesn't even do anything. Got excited for a second. This card is actually pretty good. 1-4 reach with the reconfigurability. We're probably going to end up running that. And were we trying to wheel some big... Well, maybe there was one other big creature we could end up wheeling. None of those. Mm, maybe not. Okay. Alright. Well, this should be... Interesting, to say the least. 
A little bit concerned about my overall win cons, but... Let's figure out our cards, and then we'll figure out our mana base after. Okay. So... We don't have that many artifacts to sacrifice, so I'm guessing we don't need this many two damage burn spells. We can probably cut at least one surge. Um, do I need this? Yeah, I think that's probably good enough. I don't think we're cutting any of our creatures. I mean, maybe I don't need commune. Reveal an enchantment or land card. Well, no, that finds too many good things. I, it could just be I'm, I'm supposed to cut two Volted Surges as my worst removal spells. And go something like that. If you control an artifact and an enchantment. I have four artifacts. Uh, what's the last one? We have Crab, Boar. This is not an artifact, is it? Oh, we have the Cuff and the Mender. Okay. I almost want to run this. 3-4 that draws a card and gains a life sometimes. Maybe it's a little bit weird card to splash for, but... It doesn't seem awful. Maybe I can cut this archer now, since we have so much early interaction anyways. Try something like that. Could be fun. Yeah, to hell with it. Oh, I just had to open this stupid Kami War and force the five color, didn't I? And we just got done with double feature too, where five color was my thing. At least for the last... Number of drafts it was. Alright. I get access to 10 basics. Um, I need one planes for the samurai. I need... Do I need any islands? I guess this crab might be hard to cast, but I don't have a way to grab a basic land, do I? No, I don't. So I don't think I need any islands. I don't think I need... I want to see one, two... That's two black sources. I could probably get away with one swamp if I wanted. We'll see. Maybe. I do need to load up on red and green mainly, though. Alright, so... I have two green sources there. Three... Four, five, six. We need at least seven green sources. Probably even eight would be my guess. Uh, ooh, we actually have four red land, which is nice. That would be two, three, four, five, six red. That's probably okay. All right, this looks fun. Would not recommend doing this. And <laughs> you know that your deck has a lot of removal if you're not running two Volted Surges in Limited. But like I said, we don't have much uh, or many artifacts to sacrifice. And we have more powerful burn already. So let's do it. I'm about to uh, collapse from exhaustion, but the show must go on. I wanted to get some content up for you YouTubers today. That wasn't a VOD, so... Cheers, everybody. Hopefully we don't get uh, thrashed. Hopefully we can pull off a couple wins with this nonsense. Uh, opening hand looks good. Absolutely. And, I mean, this is not too hard to expect that we would have some playable hands. Like, we're baseline red-green, right? We're just doing some crazy splashes, so... The turn two trainee is going to do some work here. And we do not want to trade with that since we have Seismic Wave in our hand. 
We will happily take the three. We also have a one four we can cast next turn, so no big deal there. Oh my gosh, this is going to be gross. This... Oh wait, the seismic wave doesn't uh, hit artifacts, does it? Non-artifact creature. But we can target the familiar itself with the front side of it. I do need to get two mana for ward two, though, if that's the case. Ecologist's Terrarium. Yep, that's the card we wanted. Ooh, and they're running multiple colors as well. All right, let's go ahead and commune here. There it is. All right. Tommy War. I hope we get to cast it this game. We have three of our colors already if I cycle the Great Tanuki. Which, I mean, we're two lands away from just casting a 6-5 Trampler, but obviously I'm going to go for the fun. Hmm. Um. Oh, maybe I should have blown that up. I guess we'll just do this now. Kind of forgot that they could put a counter on with their uh, terrarium. This is not even a great target, but it's fine. Noriko Yamazaki. Or a samurai or warrior you control. Tax alone, you may cast target. Ch okay. Ooh, that grafted gro growth is making us close. We have green, blue, red, and one of any color, or I guess two of any color here. Ah, I should really just be playing this out as a creature. Discards a short circuit. I guess let's blow that thing up. Otherwise they could cast this short circuit from their graveyard. Overt Technician 2-4. Deals combat damage player may put an artifact. Okay, so that doesn't matter. Yeah, let's just play out the Tanuki then and pass. As much as I want to cast the Kami War, I also want to win with this deck, so. Nice, they just keep activating the familiar. We're okay with that. No, no touching. I think next turn we're going to equip the, uh... Oh, that's pretty good, too. So it's a 4-5 ward, too. Let's just play out the boar. Smacking with these three. Because I figure they're trading with the boar there. Nice. So this is why the reconfigured creatures are so good, right? They act as equipment, so they just fall off as their creature side. Think of them as like bestow creatures, right? If you remember bestow creatures. Kaito Shizuki, what does this one do? Beginning of your end step, if it enters the battlefield this turn, it phases out. Draw a card, then discard a card unless you attacked. Create a 1-1 one, one blue ninja token with this can't be blocked, and minus 7 you get an emblem. What the hell is this? I 4 Flying Vigilance. And it does too much stuff, too many things when it dies. Uh, I think we have lethal though, right? Because this is... yeah, 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 so... Yeah, this should be lethal. Do 
because there are greater tanuki has trample so good stuff there all right look the kami war was a mulligan but just think how good it would have been if i had cast it huh see you gotta play those next level strats just show them that I have the, uh, the, uh, Kami War in my deck, in my hand. Put the fear into them. I played a lot of rares there. Oh, man. Ah, so good to get a new format. I mean, I didn't expect the first non-VOD to be a five-colored Kami War meme, but sometimes you gotta do what you got it. <laughs> speaking of. Uh, I'm on the draw? This is greedy, but we do have quite a few red sources in the deck. And we are really gonna need to find one here in the next couple draw steps. When it also has a Jukai trainee. Okay, Commune with Spirits was a good draw. That's going to dig me four cards deeper for a red source if I don't draw one naturally next turn. Given how much burn I have in my hand, it's probably not even correct for me to block here. But I will anyways because I don't want to take any damage. And they could have Ninjutsu. Right. Find a mountain, please. Wow. Didn't find a land. Four cards deep, no land is brutal. Is the Weaver of Harmony. Other enchantment creatures you control get plus one plus one. Green and tapped. Happy Tiger. Yeah, that's brutal. We didn't find a land. That might end up killing us. Why did we not find- that's so sick. There was no land that far in our deck. Wow, they get to copy their greater Tanuki ability with that, so they get to double ramp. That's very good. Gosh. That's insane. Because remember, we looked at three other cards with Commune the Spirits, so there was no land on the top, uh... Eight cards of my deck? That's absurd. And they are just going off with the Weaver of Harmony now. Holy smokes. <sighs> so now they get to grab four forests from their deck into their hand. Or whatever. Really? This is going to turn into a huge creature that I can't kill. Alright, I'll just concede. Good beats. I mean, that was just ex extreme unluckiness. Literally, how many cards deep did we look? We kept a two land hand. I didn't see a land in like... Four draw steps, or five draw steps, plus a look at four down, four deeper. So, sure. Sucks to lose like that, but that was extremely unlucky. Extremely unlucky. I want to kind of do the math on that, but I'll, I'll tell you right now, it, it, you're, I'm actually shooting like lower than 1% of not seeing a land in the top, uh, in the top nine or 10 cards. Crazy. Anyways, let's just try to win out from here. Got three colors already. Commune can go dig for something good, and we have a flame discharge for another the creature. Hot shot mechanic. A good one. Uh, I think we'll just commune here. Get ourselves a Tranquil Cove, very nice. Alright, that gives us red, blue, white, green. So we have four of the necessary colors towards Kami War. 
So I'm going to play as a ramp creature. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to pass this turn and hold up the crab counter. Alright, if they're just attacking with their mechanic, they're probably going to play a 4-drop. Well, they're not. Um... Sure. Oh, they just had an Iron Apprentice, whatever. There's our Tanuki friend. And that gives us our black source if we want it to. Hmm. I think I'm just going to pass here. And let's go ahead and cycle the Tanuki for a swamp. Because the Blossom Dancer is going to search five cards deep for our Kami War. And have a little fun. It's going to be a 3-4. Sure. I'm a little bit concerned that the opponent's just gonna... Oh, that's fine. Just gonna have like an arrest for my first creature. But they- oh, there are no cards in their hand. Alright, so this is perfect setup. They have to top deck. In order to, uh... In order to, uh, deal with the 4-4 four four here. Darn, didn't find it. You control an artifact and a gen- alright, so we'll just take the... 2-2. Two, two. If they top deck removal, I'm going to be very sad. What they might do is just like attack with their Iron Apprentice to put a counter on another creature. I would go ahead and just take the one from the Apprentice for a turn so that they can't... Uh, yeah, exactly. So they can't... Uh, Use a combat trick on me or something. Boar's decent here. We're just gonna pass. I'm in no rush. Kami war. Kami war. We have the five colors. Please. Jeez, they did top deck a removal spell. Crazy. Ay, 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 ay. Looks like they're just trying to swarm me. All right. I'm okay with that. Oh my gosh. I think our opponent might concede after... Wait, no. Those are both artifacts. Never mind. So I don't kill nearly as many... Dang it. Two, da two damage to any target and one damage to each non-artifact. Okay, so... Not as much of a blow it as I was initially saying because these are both artifacts. Pass here. Turns their land into a four five. Right. Hmm. Let's go. I think I'm gonna hold the flame discharge. Or yeah, I'm gonna hold the flame discharge. I'm gonna block like. This. See where they put the counter on. 
Okay. That's fine then. Nice. Arrest was a good draw. And we can just sit back. Hope we top deck better than they do. We have board control. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and attack in now since we have another 4-4 on the wings. And this one has vigilance too, so that's very nice. Kami War. 6-5 flyer with ward 2. I accept that draw as well. Oh, this also can return stuff. Discard it, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, yeah. So we can do a rebuy as well. But I'm guessing a 6-5 flyer is probably what we want to do here. Good old Sky Turtle. Fade into Antiquity. Womp womp. Alright. That means they don't get to use it on my arrest, at least. Right, let's attack in for 8 again. They're gonna have to double block eventually. They've taken a little bit too much damage. Alright. Just your flame discharge for seven. I don't know what I should be playing around. Maybe I should just let this trade happen, but it feels like keeping a four four is correct. Wow, they have a way to give Hexproof. Okay. Oh wait, does that also give Indestructible? Oh my gosh, I... Really? Is that the card that's gonna ruin me? Oh no. Oh god, that's so bad. I guess I put him on a two-turn clock here. Wow, that's brutal, though. All right, well, I deserve to be punished, I guess. Tamiyo Safekeeping. I guess I didn't realize that card gave uh, Indestructible. If that card just gained Hexproof, it probably wouldn't be worth it, but... All right. So, Force of Block... And let's move it over to the trainee and say go. All right, poof. Would have been a little bit upset about my, or a little bit upset with myself if uh, lost to that. No Kami War, Kami War. Two and one though. I'm pleased about that. I'm very pleased about that. <laughs> I 
again, this is this is an outlier. Don't try this at home. I think the Kami War is just for fun. We would have a really good deck otherwise if I had not gone for the uh, for this nonsense, but. You do what you do. <laughs> oh? Is this a dead game already? Now it's taking too long to find me a match? Womp, womp, womp. Well. I guess it is still the beginning of the season, so there aren't too many mythic players. All right. We are on the play with a pretty good looking hand. We have uh, five colors, but we don't have a duplicate red blue source since. Swift water fills both those roles. Let's go ahead and yeah, commune here. Crafted growth or blood fell caves. This is also a ramp, I guess. I think we're just gonna take the caves. Next turn we can play the circuit mender. Then the turn after we play blood fell. Hmm, that's annoying. Makes me discard a card. I guess I'll discard the Sky Turtle for now. Circuit Mender so good. It says Death Touch if you have an artifact and Menace if you control enchantment. Okay. So we're just gonna go land pass. That is an enchantment. Oh, did I mess up? Should I have killed? Oh, I messed up. I was thinking I could kill this and then block, but it's about to get a 1-1 counter, so I guess we'll just fire it off now. They have four cards left in their hand. Another Virus Beetle? Alright, well, let's just discard the Fade. That's annoying. Pass. Stupid Ravenous Rats. <laughs> let's see. Whenever you discard a card, you may exile that card from your graveyard if you do. Okay. I don't mind trading here if they want to. Alright, so we do need to actually go grab another green source here so I can play the Blossom Prancer. Sadly. Tommy War? Boo. Because since we drew the Tranquil Cove, we would actually be able to cast the Kami War. <laughs> Alright, three cards left in their hand. Cycling Sunblade Samurai, gaining two life, and drawing a card. Or drawing a planes, I guess. Naomi. Enters our attacks, they get a 2 2. Alright, we're gonna have to probably just March of Sorrows that. Let's go the full five. Gain five. Up to 30. Hell yeah. Each opponent sacrifices a creature unless they discard a card. 
Oh, I'm okay sacrificing the circuit vendor. Fine by me. Turns into a 0-4 menace. Um. Okay. We'll just discard Jukai training. Man, they've made me discard four cards this game. The biggest annoyance being the Sky Turtle, but damn, that sucks. What the heck is this? Grease Fang Okiba Boss. The beginning of combat on your turn. Return target vehicle card from your graveyard to the battlefield against haste. Okay, so they don't have a vehicle, so it doesn't matter. So I guess we're just going to equip the uh, cup to our Jukai trainee. Make a 3-6 Bushido 1 with reach. And then I guess I'm probably supposed to hold on to the... Uh... Oh, sure. The last card in their hand. I'm probably supposed to hold on to the Scoured Barons in case they have... Uh... Another long reach of night type card, so I don't have to sack one of my creatures. It's pretty annoying though, it turns into a 5 power. With menace at that. Blue source. Sentinel's good. Eh, I guess I'll play it out. This looks like a good game to draw the Kami War. Yep, they made the right choice, I think. Kill the Vigilance creature there. Yukai trainee number two. Deal. Alright, I mean, we have a wall. They have a bunch of small creatures. Five, four. That's good. I'm going to start attacking in now. I need to start pressuring them. I don't think I want to trade my Blossom Prancer quite yet. But I don't mind trading off the boar. I mean, I guess this has reach, so eh, maybe I should have attacked with the Prancer too, now that I think about it. I don't know why I'm concerned about a flyer. Oh boy! Enormous Energy Blade! That's really good with all of their crappy turtles and beetles and... Alright, well now we're just attacking with both. Oh, I guess I could have left the Jukai trainee back. It actually blocks the beetle. Maybe this is worse. But the nice thing is when they equip it to a creature, they can't use it as a blocker unless it's already been equipped for another turn. Oh my gosh, of course. Why wouldn't they draw that? The system can't fix everything, but we can. All right. Well, all of a sudden things aren't looking as good for me. Kami War? They drew their mythic, why can't I draw mine? I don't... I don't think putting a 1-1 one, one counter on this... grants the plus 1 plus 1 to the creature it's equipped to. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work like that.
Yeah, I don't have a great attack this turn. Let's just put it on the trainee here. Well, uh, feels like we're probably dead here. Because even with their containment construct, they can uh, just play whatever they discard with Kaito. Mm. Good beats. Of course. Alright. Well played, OP. Well played. That sucks. Take five, they get to draw another card. Now this is a juicy secret. Just steal the planeswalker? Alright, well that kills Kaito. One, two, three, four, five, six. But it doesn't it means I don't get to equip. Oh wait. Yes it does, because yes it does, because I have the uh I have the uh, the modify online. Nice. All right, and now I've got a six nine. Nice. So as long as they don't top deck another removal spell, I mean I still need to draw some action because any individual removal is pretty bad for me. But we've got a very nice creature on the battlefield. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Two cards in their hand. Come on, Kami! Um, again, they have three artifact creatures, so this doesn't actually do as much as one would hope. Do I attack here? I don't think I do. Awkward, but... Hmm. That sucks. Two islands. Oh, that could still just be for their planeswalker. Whoa! Um, I mean, I, I guess I just have to block the 7-4. See what they do here. Ah, they have the Death Touch, huh? Death Touch, Life Link, and that's an artifact too. Okay. Well, we can now shoot this and blow up the exemplar. So that means I don't have to discard a card anymore since they're going to replay their uh, Ravenous Rats. I still get my 1-4, but they have the huge blade. Yeah, now that's really good in their deck with all the crappy small creatures. Also, they're back to 22. They just gained 7 life there. <laughs> uh... All right, Terrarium, yeah. So they can make it a stoop toughness creature to get around my cuff. Kami War. Kami War. I mean, we have a little bit of time, but it would be nice to uh, cast the Kami War one time. Yeah, take six. Ow. Another one of those? Man, come on. Ugh. 
That would be good on the equipment if it wasn't already equipped. Alright, take six. I don't know if they meant to do that. Maybe they did. Oh, sure. You are already dead. Kami War! Come on. That's actually good. 5-7 <laughs> is just good enough to beat the 6-2. Okay. So we're going to have to trade there, and then they're going to equip to the beetle later, I guess. Come on, where's the war? <laughs> just one... <laughs> Just one time. Uh. Last 10 cards. All right, force trade. Sure. I'm dead next turn. <laughs> Come on. Why can't you just give it to me? <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't think I had too many win cons left in my deck. We got absolutely wrecked by all of their discard effects. Ugh. And like I said, our deck doesn't really grind out. They like they had a lot of two for one value, whereas this deck, my deck, doesn't really have that. Oh man, though, come on. That game kind of sucked. <sighs> yeah, that equipment just was the entire uh, entire game. They had a bunch of crappy 1-1s, one and then all of a sudden they weren't so crappy anymore. We were at, what, 30 life at one point or something? I mean, 30 life, but our board state wasn't very good. For the longest time, we had like a 4-4 four, four versus, you know, five teeny creatures. Ay ay ay. Good beats. Okay. I have to do everything in my power to, uh... To cast the Kami War next game, so... No sandbagging this time. No holding back and making the... Making the correct play this time. We gotta we gotta play the the war if we can. Okay, it's in our hand, and we actually have quite a few of our colors already. Now we're on the draw with a hand. Don't get me wrong, this hand does absolutely nothing, but we do have a lot of removal that we can draw. We wanna lead with a green land since we have too many or so many green two drops. Okay, nice, they didn't do anything, so now we go blue-white here. So green... Oh, they missed a land too? Oh, yes, we can do this. We go get... We're gonna do it, we're gonna Kami War this turn, or this game. I'm very excited. We're gonna swamp with the uh, Tanuki. They might just have their own Tanuki, it looks like. Black, red, blue, green. White, and an overlapping blue. Very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and just run out the 3-4. Yep, they did have their own Tanuki. You know, the worst part about this, it's just going to die to an enchantment removal spell. <laughs> yeah. Pretty funny. Hmm. I'm actually tempted to not even play it out on that thing. Let's attack and see if they are okay with a trade, because I'm okay with a trade. 
And then instead we're gonna commune and look for something. It's not bad. And they're gonna make a 1-1 one -one token. The su samurai just trades with the kappa. Assuming it's going to attack. Mm, they really should have attacked there, because now I think I'm going to make my Kami play. Let's go! Also, we hit him for seven. <laughs> yeah. Everything is successful now. We have cast the Kami War. It was a glorified removal spell. But you know what? It felt freaking great. And that's all that really matters sometimes. The feeling. Now, if they don't kill it, it's still going to go off. It's going to return their token to their hand. And then it's going to become a 6-6 flying trampler. Sure, whatever. Hey, another good draw. All right, let's return the token to their hand and they have to discard a card. <laughs> it's working! They're also only on four lands, so this 6-5 flying ward 2 is just going to ranch them as well. Ah, sometimes magic is good. Everything is worth it. I will take your stinky five. Oh wait, does that give reach? Oh my god, that does. All right, well, we get the big old dragon. They're just gonna give me commune back. Do I play out this 5-7 ward, or do I... I think we hold up counter magic. Reach, 6-8, reach, vigilance, haste, and it taps for two mana. But if they just cast an individual card, we cast the uh, Mana Leak, and then we win. I guess maybe that was a reason to have cast out the, sh the Crab instead, because the Turtle's not lethal by itself. So if I had cast out the Crab and kept the Sky Turtle, we could have bounced. Yeah, I messed up here. I don't even think that's hindsight. I think that's just what would have been the right better play. It's alright, though. I mean, it made sense to hold up the counter, but... Weaver of Harmony. They have two mana left. I guess it was more than that, since that could also tap for mana. This tramples... This would force block there, this would chump there. If I counter that. Am I gonna lose this game? That commune with spirits being in my graveyard kinda sucks. Hmm. This is unfortunate. Oh, they're attacking. That's good. If they attack, then we would get them. Yikes. If I lose this game, this is going to be hilarious.
I mean... I guess I attack. They return the commune to my hand. They have to block the Okagachi with the 7-9. Uh, they have to chump the 3-4. They go to 1. Oh no! Well... All right, no more holding on to that one. Oh boy. This is going to feel really bad if I lose. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I guess I just pass. I mean, I could if I attack with everything again, their 7-9 eats my flyer. They have to trade with the 3-4 with their 4-3, and then they chump with their 2-2, but then I'm left with a 5-7 versus their 7-9. Oh my god, that would have been so good a little bit ago. One life. One life and they're stabilizing. Not like this. <laughs> Anything but this. Oh boy. Kami War confirmed bad? That'll do. That'll do just fine. You know what? I messed up again. I should have definitely moved the equipment over in case... I don't know if there's an instant speed way to kill an enchantment. I don't think there is. Well, that was probably a slightly safer play. No, I don't think there's an instant speed way to kill an enchantment like that for two mana. Okay. Whew. Breathe easy, breathe easy. So, what we learned is I cast the Kami War, I won the game. I think that's all that... Uh, that's the only lesson to be learned there. There was no other lesson to be learned. Cast Kami War, win the game. Oh, man. Like I said, this is such a weird first draft. Like, this is not the way you should do it. Two color slash three color decks in this format look the way to go. There is a lot of fixing, don't get me wrong. There's all the dual lands, there's Terrarium, there's a bunch of green fixers, yada yada yada. But, uh... I think you want to stick to a to a two, maybe a three color deck. Because there are a ton of good synergies in the format. So. We're doing a little bit of memeing here, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. How's our hand look? You know, for not having green, which is our main color, this is really good. Three removal spells, plus we can cast the bounce side of the turtle, so this seems like a fine keep. Fine keeper. Hello, indeed. Sure, more removal. Kill your thing, kill your thing, kill your thing, kill your things. Oh, this is actually really good for us. So, the Tribute to Hirobi is a nutty card. It makes your opponent 2-1-1 rats initially, and then it becomes a 3-3 uh, three, three flying haste that gains control all the rats, and you can sack and draw. But, uh... 
Since we have this delectable seismic wave, we are going to kind of blow them out. It turns into a 3-3. Three, three. They gain control of all the rats. And now we go for the seismic wave. Easy peasy baby. Clean answer. Another 3-2, sure. Ooh, that's a good draw too. Uh, let's go swamp and pass. So I'm going to give one of their creatures plus one plus one. Let's go ahead and Kami War on the one they're targeting. I think we're going to go ahead and grab a Plains here and gain two life as well. There's a second green source for our turtle. It's good. It's going to return any card at instant speed, so if any of these are something we want, we can go grab any of them. And they only have one card left in their hand now? Yeah, we are looking real nice. We're probably just going to play this out as a 6-5 flyer, but the only issue with that is that I haven't given them a target for removal, so this turtle might be the first thing that dies, you know? Ooh, that's also a good draw. Uh, wait, the creature has to do it. I guess I don't care about that. Eh, actually, no, I'm okay just turning off the Subduer. The 2-4 Flyer doesn't attack this turn anyways, and it's not that big of a deal if I just find one more land for Sky Turtle. Maybe that's a little bit aggressive, but... I don't think I bother killing the flyer. It's not a samurai, all right. So that gives any creature indestructible, and this is damage. Samurai is actually kind of annoying, but that's okay. That's a great draw as well. Six five flyer with ward two. Ah, boo. Goodbye, turtle. I take four. But then we're going to play Blossom Dancer or Prancer. That's also a good draw. All right, find me the Kami War. Let's go. Come on. Kami, Kami. Aw, just a greater Tanuki. I guess I'll just take this 6-5 Trampler. Yawn. Let's see if they know about Hidden Reach. Oh, they just have another kill spell. Boo! Stop it! Go to 11. I'm going to hit them to 11. I'm going to play my 6-5. They have no cards in their hand, though, so... Great draw as well. Uh, 
What a good boy. Because that's a dog. Alright, feeling confident. Sure. Oh, right, they can just tap. Forgot that this was any warrior samurai. Well, we were gonna bolt that anyway, so might as well do it now. Sure. Uh, boar is another good draw. Yeah. Smash, baby. Man, we don't even get to cast the Kami War this game, it looks like. Just gonna have to kill them all naturally. Alright, they get two cards, and we have them dead on board, though. Good luck, my friend. Oh, another good boy. Okay, into a 4-4. Four, four. That's not bad. Ooh, that's lethal. Exile their flyer. Kill the good boy. Hit him for 8. Nice. Alright, baby, let's go! Is that 4 wins with this thing? You cannot stop the Kami War. It is too powerful, too impressive, too meme -y. Oh, man. God, this video is going too long. <laughs> uh, video is going too long, says the guy who drafted it. Five-color Kami War. Control deck. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess it was only fitting that I would open that Saga pick one pack one for the first um, non-VOD. YouTube video. But still, how funny is that? It's like they just knew I was gonna meme. They willed it to happen. Oh man. God, I've been streaming since like 7 this morning, and I've been 12 hour day. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, I th let me double check something. These VODs. Oh, but my rank has tanked, if you haven't noticed. Too many 4 and 3s and 5 and 3s. Not good enough. All right. We are playing against Sam Black, who's number 2. How's our hand look? Looks like a good red green hand. Hopefully we can get to Kami War him. Please say. Please say we do. Jungle Hollow. Alright. Go, go, trainer. Go, go, Jukai trainee. Ooh, the Scrounger. I do like that card. Do we want to use anything here? Or do we want to just, uh... Tanuki or Cuff after the fact? I think all are solid, valuable plays. Question is, which one do we want to do? 
I don't want to keep the uh, the boar. What's the trainee attack into a creature that has even more than three toughness? I think this thing's worth killing for sure. Gloom Shrieker. Oh, that's a lot of value. Fighting Palm Ninja. Menace words. Whenever deals combat damage to a player, you may remove it. You do with the other hand, you choose not exile that card. Um. Well, I'm gonna regret not having a uh, a white source now from the Tanuki. Sure. Oh no 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 no. That was an artifact. I needed to Volt Surge that. Oh, no! Oh, I just punted so badly. Oh my god, that entirely swings the game now. Wow, that's brutal. Yikes. Well, big punts. Oh, no! I mean, he would have just gotten it back with this thing anyways, but... Then we still would have had the Tanuki. Oh, man. That's embarrassing. He's gonna get it back anyways, but... Uh, that sucks. So how much different- man, this game is completely different, right? Well, not much I can do about that. Brutal, dude. Land there would have been fantastic. Hit him for five with the boar, and then maybe we can do something from there, but... <sighs> Good beats. It's not an artifact or enchantment, right? Oh, the punish is so hard. Why? So how... Okay, so he targets my thing with Fade to Antiquity. I kill his 3-3. Three, three. I get to attack for 2. I get the get to Tanuki for a white source. Oh, yeah, this game, like... Feels like we're crushing, almost. Brutal. Oh, now he has a big enchantment or artifact to play. Yeah, that's a good one. He's about to draw a million cards. Ah, that sucks. Ah, that sucks real bad. So that thing would have probably been arrested. We still have the fade into antiquity for the behold. Like, oh my gosh. What a sad game. What a sad state of affairs I put myself in. Okay. Well, Sky Turtle's pretty good. I can't help but feeling like this game was really winnable if I had... Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. We have to play to our best now that I've made that mistake.
So what's the plan then? It's going to turn into a 2-2 two -two Menace next turn. I mean, if he doesn't have any removal, he can't really do much. What does this thing do? Jugan defends the temple. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on you have two target creatures. 2-2 two -two Flyer. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay X when you do. Put X 1-1 one -one counters on that creature. Jeez. That thing's insane. Well, I can't win if I attack, and I can't win if I don't attack. We are not in a very enviable position. Man, it feels so bad to have punted so hard. Ah, boo! Does that do? Oh, it's the minus two, minus two, and then an additional minus for each modular or modified creature. Sure. All right, well, let's just draw the Kami War as the last card. At least we can cast it one more time, maybe. Darn it. Oh, I punted so bad. God, I just passed priority too quickly. Oh, I think, I mean, I know. I know we're in a much better spot that game, right? Not well, of course we're in a much better spot, but that game is like very, very winnable. So yeah, what happened there is he used Fade into Antiquity on my 1-4, uh, and I did not Volt Surge the 3-3 three, three in response. As a result, I didn't get to... Well, more importantly, he got to steal a card immediately from me, uh, which then took Fixing away from... Yeah, I mean, that game is completely different, but... Anyways, good punts. I'm glad I got to play the Kami War to at least four wins, but maybe should have been even more. Um, like I said, do not expect this to be the norm. This was just because the, it's the very first recorded YouTube video. I first picked the Kami War. It was too fun not to. The deck ended, ended up actually pretty good, right? right? Tons of red, green, and removal. Um, three removal spells in the sideboard, even. So maybe if I hadn't misplayed, we might have gotten the seven wins with this. But uh, that was a fun one. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you back tomorrow. Peace out.